My name is Robin Peter, and I'm a first year graduate student at the University of California, Berkeley in the Department of Nuclear Engineering. I completed my bachelor's degree in physics at the University of Chicago and have pivoted into medical physics in the short time since then. My current project seeks to develop the tools necessary for understanding alpha particle therapy. Alpha particle therapy is a cancer treatment option that has the potential to help patients where chemotherapy, external beam radiotherapy, and other radionuclide therapies have failed. In preliminary clinical trials, alpha particle therapy has seen some incredible success. There have been studies where failing prostate cancer patients have added years to their life, as in this image shown. The black spots on this PET scan represent metastatic cancers. Treatment with targeted alpha particles using actinium-225 drastically reduced the patient's PSA levels and improved their prognosis. In order to fully understand the effectiveness of this therapy and to use it safely, physicians need to know exactly how much dose the particles are delivering to tumors and also how much potential unwanted toxicity might be given to neighboring healthy organs. These effects are not well understood for alpha particles because they're harder to detect than conventionally used treatment radiation. In my virtual poster, I demonstrate one device, the iKID camera, that can be used in preclinical research to image alpha particles and their dose. The system is capable of tracking individual alpha particles from a biopsy or a prepared specimen, and it translates that into a 2D image. To maximize the detection efficiency, remember alpha particles can be a bit difficult to get a hold on, specimens must be very thin, so a given biopsy has to be cut into tissue sections. My work uses straightforward computer vision algorithms to match these sections up with each other. And this enables dose analysis. From there, we can use particle simulation results to estimate the energy, and therefore the dose, that each of those alpha particles contributes to the tissues around it. Finally, I spatially match this dose information with stained cell microscope images to enable one to ask the question, which cell types are receiving more dose, and are those the cells we want to treat? At the end, I pose several avenues of continued study using this work. The virtual poster is set up to be readable without a verbal presentation, but I'm always available for questions or comments through the ARCS contact form. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the symposium.